È immancabile, è uno dei DJ più famosi del mondo e anche uno dei più bravi. Non manca mai all'Amsterdam Dance Event e gli appuntamenti che contano. Ai microfoni di Enjoy Television, ancora una volta, Mr. Paul Van Dyke. Hi Paul and welcome back on Enjoy Television. Thank you. So how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. And what do you think about this edition of ADE 2008? Well, it's even bigger, you know, it seems to be growing and I think this is an indication of, you know, people being really interested in, you know, electronic music and loving it and I mean, electronic music is the biggest youth culture in the world, so therefore, you know, this is the convention. idea to improve again this, this event the only thing I would improve today is the weather because it's actually raining here obviously you know in Italy you're always spoiled with the weather it's always beautiful at least this is what we see on television so Italian weather is always beautiful <laughs> the panels and debates, would you like to talk about some problems that nobody talked till now? Um, well, you know, the thing is, um, you know, the specific topics, you know, that are necessary to be sorted, it's obviously, you know, it's, it's like the copyright law, it's, you know, the whole question of illegal downloads, and I don't think this is something you can really discuss on a convention. Um, you know, that needs to be done, um, you know, with the lawyers, with politicians, with the specialists in their field, and then um, we might come to a solution. Because if you talk about it on a convention, everybody is going to be, you know, have the same opinion. Yes, we need to change the copyright law, but nothing's ever changing. So it makes more sense to actually uh, do that um, in a different surrounding than a convention. There is MySpace, uh, there is Facebook, uh, and from your point of view, which are the new channels to promote yourself like a DJ, like a producer? I think the only way to really sort of come across the way how I am is either talk to me as a person or to see me play live when I play. Everything else is just, you know, it's just a website and uh, it's never going to be really personal. So I prefer the live contact with people rather than the website. Dance for Life, you have to talk with us about Dance for Life, news about Dance for Life. Uh, well, I just had a meeting with Dance for Life, so we kind of uh, you know, laid out the plan for 2009. Uh, what we do together, how we work together, and of course it is a very important organization that does a lot of good things and uh, it's absolutely necessary to support courses like this because, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, especially if we look at the crisis we have not right now, I still believe democracy is the best concept for all of us to live together, but it's not perfect and we have to change the things that aren't right and, you know, Dance for Life is... Uh, It's a very good um, project, it's a very good organization to support in order to do something and, and support kids that come from a rather unfortunate background and as well make people aware of the fact that obviously uh, HIV is a big problem in especially the poor countries. So your project for the 2009? Uh, well, we're actually planning on like putting on a big fundraising event. Uh, we're doing a special show, um, you know, with my Vonic Sessions radio show about it. Uh, we've been talking about uh, so many things. There will be a few things. Now, thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs>